हेलो एवरी वन टूडेज टॉपिक इज ट्रांसलेशन और प्रोटीन सिंथिस प्रोटीन्स आर पॉलीमर्स ऑफ एमिनो एसिड्स दैट आर जॉइंट टू ईच अदर बाय पेप्टाइड बॉन्ड पेप्टाइड बॉन्ड इज फॉर्म बिटवीन द एमिनो ग्रुप ऑफ वन एमिनो एसिड एंड द कार्बो ऑक्सिल ग्रुप ऑफ द एडजस्टेंट एमिनो एसिड this is the peptide bond now protein synthesis occurs in the cytoplasm so all that is required for protein synthesis is first the main one ribosomes ribosomes are made up of rna and protein they play a catalytic role in protein synthesis now pro amino acids are linearly arranged in a polypeptide chain the sequence of amino acid in a polypeptide chain is decided by messenger rna messenger rna carries the information for the arrangement of amino acids in the polypeptide chain this information is present in the form of nitrogenous bases this information is decoded by the help of transfer rna the anticodon present in the transfer rna recognizes the codon for the specific amino acid on the messenger rna it recognizes the codon for the specific amino acid it is carrying on the messenger rna and the main raw material are the amino acids which are the building blocks of protein synthesis protein synthesis or translation always occur in 5 prime 3 prime direction the amino acids present in the cytoplasm are in inactive form so for translation to start we require activation of amino acids activation of amino acid is done by the help of atp and amino acyl trna synthetase enzyme amino acid reacts with atp to form amino acyl adenylate this amino acyl adenylate then react with its specific trna to form amino acyl trna which takes part in protein synthesis these two steps are catalyzed by the help of amino acyl trna synthetase enzyme amino acid is attached to trna by the help of ester bond which is formed between the hydroxyl group of terminal adenine and the carboxyl group of the amino acid hence forming amino acyl trna messenger rna carries the information for the arrangement of amino acid now this messenger rna has utrs or untranslated regions present before the start and the stop codon that help in efficient translation one such example is the shine delgaro sequence that is gg a gg present in the utr just before the start codon this shine delgaro sequence binds to the 16s ribosomal rna present in the 30s subunit so that the initiation codon comes to lie at the correct position and hence translation can starts the start codon is aug the mnemonic for it is inaugurates protein synthesis while the stop codon uaa uag and uga uaa can be remembered as you are away uag you are gone and uga you go away first step for protein synthesis is initiation 
always the initiating codon is AUG, initiating amino acid is methionine. But this methionine is different from the normal methionine in prokaryotes. It is formylated methionine referred as FMET. This has a separate tRNA molecule which can only recognize it. So in the activated form or the initiating amino acid tRNA will be this. Initiation occurs with the help of three protein factors called initiation factors. These initiation factors are referred as initiation factor 1, 2 and 3. Initiation factor 3 helps in the binding of the messenger RNA to the 30th subunit of the ribosome so that the initiation codon comes to lie in its correct position. Initiation factor 2 forms a complex with GTP and the initiating amino acid tRNA. With the dissociation of GTP, the initiating amino acid tRNA binds to the initiation codon on the messenger RNA. The anticodon of the tRNA will be UAC which will recognize the initiation codon that is AUG. While initiation factor 1 helps in the binding of the 50S subunit of the ribosome to the 30S subunit. The 50S subunit binds to the 30S subunit. Now in the 50S subunit three spaces can be seen. A site that is for the incoming amino acid tRNA. P site for the peptidal chain with its last tRNA. And E site is the exit, exit site for the tRNA. Always the initiating amino acid tRNA will be present at the P site so that the A site is free for the next amino acid tRNA to be attached. That was initiation. Next step is elongation. Elongation occurs in three steps and by the help of protein factors called elongation factors. They are of two types, elongation factor T and elongation factor G. The first step for elongation is attachment of next amino acid tRNA to the A site. Now when the next amino acid tRNA gets attached to the A site, it first forms a complex with elongation factor T and GTP. And with the dissociation of GTP, the next amino acid tRNA binds to the next codon on the messenger RNA. Second step is peptide bond formation. Peptide bond is formed between the amino group of the amino acid present at the A site and the carboxyl group of the amino acid present at the P site. So that this amino acid gets displaced from its tRNA. Two amino acids joined to each other by peptide bond are now attached to the tRNA molecule present on the A site. So this will is how it can be seen. This tRNA becomes free while two amino acids are now attached to the tRNA molecule present at the A site. Peptide bond is formed by the help of peptidyl transferase enzyme which is a ribozyme means an RNA molecule showing catalytic activity. This ribozyme is present in the 23S ribosomal RNA present in the 50S subunit of ribosome. The third step of elongation is translocation that is shifting of ribosome to the next codon on the messenger RNA. Shifting of ribosome takes place with the help of elongation factor G and GTP. They form a complex 
and with the dissociation of GTP, the ribosome shifts to the next codon on the messenger RNA. As a result, the A site now becomes the P site and the new A site that is formed is free for the next amino acid tRNA. While the tRNA without the amino acid is now present at the E site that is the exit site. With each amino acid added, the three steps of elongation are repeated till the complete polypeptide chain is formed. So this is how the ribosome will move from one codon to the next till the complete polypeptide chain is formed. Last step of translation is termination. Termination occurs when any of the three termination codons that is UAA, UAG and UGA come to lie at the A site. These elongation factors are recognized by protein factors called release factors. They are of two types, release factor 1 and release factor 2. Release factor 1 recognizes UAA and UAG while release factor 2 recognizes UAA and UGA. These release factors bind to the termination codon blocking it. They even catalyze the breakdown or the hydrolysis of the ester bond between the last amino acid and the tRNA making free the newly synthesized polypeptide chain. So this is how translation occurs. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Bye -bye.